Once again this year, we are teaming up with the Minnesota Assistance Council for Veterans, that's MACV, as part of our Home for the Holidays campaign. And for more than 25 years, MACV has served veterans and their families who are homeless or at risk of becoming homeless. This past year, COVID-19 has made it more difficult to engage with veterans in need. But as Reg Chapman reports, MACV is committed to continuing to serve veterans during this crisis. MACV has one goal, to end veteran homelessness in the state of Minnesota. And what they're doing is working. A year ago, numbers of unsheltered veterans reached a low of 230 statewide. <laughs> then COVID-19 hit, causing that number to increase as veterans who were once housed needed MACV's help to find shelter. The virus also changed how the organization can work. This year, specifically because of COVID, we built our own outreach team. Gone are the days of the traditional stand down. An event where all the resources a veteran would need are brought together in one location. From legal assistance to help with housing, jobs, and clothes, MACV had to find new ways to get to those in need. But get out there, get to the camps, get under the bridges, get to the parking lots at night, and find veterans where they are. Outreach teams found plenty of veterans on the streets during the pandemic. Thank you for yeah. the opportunity. MACV then reached out to community partners to find a temporary place for them to call home. It's the hotel program and it's the transition program where we've made our greatest improvements. Partners like Days Inn made space to house veterans. So we've also reallocated resources to the hotel. We have MACV team members that they, they work essentially at those hotels. They're checking in every day. They're building that sense of trust and building a housing plan. MACV President Neil Ledoit says the new way of operating is not cheap, but necessary. We spent $475,000 on hotel stays, right? That's 6,066 nights of hotel stays since the start of COVID. Now, that might not seem terribly efficient, but you know what? It's better than the shelter. It's better than in a high-risk COVID environment. And what it does, uh, it provides us like this secondary form of contact, which is now we've got you in a hotel. We know where you are every day. And veterans benefit from having access to that help daily, but they can't do it alone. Your help is needed now more than ever. Because if you were ever wondering about what is MACV going to do with my $100, my $1,000, you know where it's going now, right? You know in this crisis that that's not money that's going to, going to be allocated to some future program or put in the bank. We are spending it as fast as it comes in the door. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Any donation to MACV would make a big difference. Just $20 will help MACV provide food for a veteran or money for gas. $35 provides housing support for one day. And you can donate online through our website at WCCO.com holidays. You can also text to give. Anything donated today will be matched up to $5,000 by a generous donor.